I vote on XQC versus Aiden because I refuse to believe that it's real and I'm calling your bluff. Okay, fine. Fine, if you're calling my bluff, it's only four minutes and 20 seconds long. We'll watch it. So XQC, Aiden Ross, and DJ Academics is a big figure in the hip hop community. I've been told I don't really listen to any of his stuff, whatever he does. But they got into a heated argument over the topic of transgender people. And by the way, I like this title here. It says heated argument about the topic of transgender. Is this a human being making these titles? Is this is this botted? What is this type the, over the topic of transgender? Very deep, very deep personified it like transgender people, trans people, no transgender. Anyway, they go back and forth over it, and I'm interested to, you know, pit kind of poke my head in the sewage pipe and see what's going on. So let's check it out. Apparently, XQC is the one who actually stands up here. It's like, hold on, guys, let's wait. A gender right. is like a social construct. See, yeah, are we on really two different? Hey, right. listen, let me. See, yeah, are we really on two different? Hey, listen, let me tell you this. If if I meet a man and he tell me that him being a man is a social construct, I slap the shit out of him. No, you're a fucking man, okay? <laughs> Yo, if God made you with a dick and a balls, you're a man. I don't care. I don't care if what you think about yourself. You need to go deal with that. Go to. You need to go to Christ or anybody else, Allah, anybody. You got dick and balls, you are a man. There ain't no social construct. Biology tells me what you are. You got a pussy, you a woman. You got a dick, you're a man. Again, we could make up these other- God damn. Maybe I'm just too much of a hippie, okay? You know, I've, I've, I've taken one too many trips, you know, down, down the old uh, strip lane on the tongue. I don't know. But, I mean, so much of gender is socially constructed. I mean, back in the day, like, pink was not considered, like, the woman's color. It was considered a manly color. Heels used to be worn by archers. And where I mean, th so many different items. Like, if I go to Scotland and I see a kilt, you know what I see? I see a man in a dress. That's what I see. I see a man in a dress. I think that's a feminine thing. You're in Scotland. The, 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 the environment around this is completely different. And so much of the behaviors between men and women are socially constructed. And I mean, biology can have a, an impact on how it ends up being socially constructed. But to say that, like, like women prefer this type of music, like Taylor Swift songs and like the type of chatter on the airwaves over this type of music. And that is biological. We're biologically hardwired that women are going to like Taylor Swift and men are going to like like Ice Cube or 50 Cent or whoever. I don't know. I'm, I'm like I like Phil Oaks, man. I'm a boring person or whoever it is. Like, that is silly. That is stupid. That is, like, the idea that a man has, you know, short manly hair and not long hair or those types of things uh, dictating, like, facial hair or dictating the, the length of your hair, dictating clothing items. So much of this can be socially constructed. Now, some of it still has limitations to it. For example, the broadness of shoulders, uh, bone density. For the, I could not probably grow this, at least to this level, if I was born... A biological female but since i was born a biological man i can grow a little bit of a beard but so much of this is socially constructed so much of it is socially constructed how we expect men to dress how we expect women to dress how we expect men and women to behave in the relationship the fact that men pay and women don't is in large part socially constructed around dating and it's constructed around the fact that men were traditionally considered the breadwinners and women weren't. But now that women are entering the workforce more and more and they're becoming breadwinners more and more, they, as the society moves, are probably going to have to, or, I mean, if we want this to adjust fairly, start to pay for dinners and lunches and stuff like that more often. Or we can expect to see that more often because if both people are breadwinners... What would be the reason for the man providing that? Would it be the chivalry of it? Would it be the tradition of it? Would it be the social construct we have made to determine that interaction? There is biology, and then there are social constructs. I cannot just, like, snap my fingers and my bone density is less. I cannot snap my fingers and my penis is gone. I cannot do any of those things. But I could very much be a man, a biological male, and want to dress these different ways, present differently, talk differently the tone of my voice the way i present myself is very different you know how people have a gaydar and you can tell the difference between a gay man and a, and a and a straight man now i say that and some people would be oh no you can't necessarily and that's true 
You know, most people probably on first impact would not think, oh, Dylan's attracted to men just because of the way that I present myself. You know, I do not present myself um, to, man, I'm trying to think of a better word to use, but I was raised by my grandparents. I'm not limp-wristed. I do not have of an effeminate tone. I do not walk in a certain way. I do not behave in a way that is stereotypically considered to be homosexual. And the reason why people can identify the gays that do behave in those ways is because they're acting in way, acting in ways that are not traditionally masculine, that are not considered traditionally heteronormative, that are the social constructs we have made for these things. And there should be space for these people who do not fall into these tight social constructs. And having another indicator or designator for people trans women, male, uh, 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 trans men who don't, because of their gender dysmorphia, gender, uh, the, the medical issues that they have, whatever it might be, have found that they are much better and more comfortable in the man or woman designator for gender socially, much more comfortable. They live a better life. They feel better about themselves doing that. And they're medically diagnosed for God's sake. It's not like gender dysmorphia is some random thing that fell from the sky then I don't see what the problem is in having that social construct be able to maneuver for human beings. This is the thing. Social constructs don't exist for some like magical entity or for some aliens to observe us. Social constructs exist in society for us, for human beings. And so they should adapt for human beings. And I see no problem in adapting it for people who go through gender dysmorphia. And so if, if somebody is behaving in ways that we have socially constructed to be women... And they, you know, wear, have long hair, you know, wear women's clothing. They look like a woman. They behave like what would traditionally be considered a woman. Why would we not socially say that this person is acting as a woman? Why? What would be the purpose out of it? Is it, is it a biological fun chunk function of, you know, trying to produce more children, trying to, you know, raise more youth? You can still have that while also making room for these people. I don't see the problem. I don't see the problem with having a broader definition of gender and gender identity, but having a more specific uh, designators for, for sex, because, you know, the medical conversations around, you know, what somebody needs as a male and a female for medical treatment is very different. And it's also true for trans women and not trans people, the type of medicines they need, et cetera. The type of mental health care treatment for non-trans and trans people is also different for what type of gender affirming care or not, or not need of gender affirming care is different. Why do we need to have such restrictive social constructs here that in my mind would end up hurting humans, not helping them. Gender dysmorphia. Sorry. Sorry. I said, what was I saying? Was I butchering the English language again? Uh, excuse me. Other rules, but that is the ground rules, brother. Like this whole- Dylan, you're putting too much effort into these idiots. I, I see conversations as a launching point. And if I can take the conversation somewhere else that I feel is more productive, than just like staying in the dirt and be like, man, that's that's stupid. Like then I would, yeah, I'd like to do that. But I hope you guys will give me some leeway if every once in a while I just say, man, that's stupid. These other rules, but that is the ground rules, brother. Like this whole, oh no, it's <coughs> construct. It's like, dog, all right, I'm a penguin. Am I, am I a penguin? No, no, no. What, what X is saying is, so sex? Somebody in a YouTube chat just said, Dylan, do you think women should be forced to fight in the military as men are? I think, especially with modern warfare, that modern warfare allows a lot of people to engage in it that traditionally wouldn't have been considered for, you know, combat before. And not necessarily frontline combat, but just like service. I am going to be, you know, I don't want to spoil all the things I'm interviewing, but there are people who are disabled who lost both their legs in combat, who can still fight by operating combat FPV drones. And women can do that too. And so if there was a scenario where we have the draft and America is in a situation where it's fighting for its national survival, I would not be against the conscription of women as well as men. Um, I would like to avoid a conscription scenario altogether if possible, but if we're conscripting, and we need people to fill logistics roles. We need people to fill FPV drones. And if there's people, women who could fight on the front line would be willing to serve roles as combat medics, serve roles as even frontline service if they meet the criteria, which should criteria which shouldn't be lowered. Um, if, and if it is lowered, it should only be lowered due to just missing the general numbers, not due to the fact that we're just trying to like hit some magic percentage number of like women in the armed forces. 
then yeah, I, I think I think in those circumstances it would be only fair and it would free up more manpower as the United States military is currently missing uh, manpower goal after manpower goal, recruiting goal after recruiting goal. Is male or female? Right. So so you're correct, Ak and Aiden. There's male and there's female. Yes, there is. That's there's two sex, genders. Okay? Yes. That's the biological attribute, right? Correct. Male and female, that's sex. Yes. Gender... Gender, see, like, the, the, there is a um, miscommunication and misunderstanding of gender versus sex. Sex is female or male. You understand? So when you guys yeah, say there's two, of course there's I understand. Two, when you guys say there's two genders, you're referring to those two sexes, right? Gender is actually a social construct. There right? you go. So why, why, why tell me I'm wrong about this? I was wrong like about behaviors that. and certain things of certain different, right? Like, so when you say, Wait is there two genders, what you mean are there two sexes? Yes, there's two sexes. There's male and there's female. Guys, you understand? Guys. So like you're both arguing two different things. That's hey, academics. Hey, hey, no, 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 stop, stop. Academics. Have you ever gone to a gender reveal party? We don't call it a sex reveal party. You call it a gender reveal no, party. Yo, 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 it's called yo, a social yo, con. He's so proud of that. Aiden Ross is so proud of that. I never thought of it that way before. Called a gender reveal party, not a sex reveal party. Yes, we should dict we should dictate. The medical terms and how we move forward based on common parlance. Ah, uh, yes, gender relations based in common parlance. Brilliant idea. He's a smart cookie, that aid, and he's going places. No, he capping because put it like this: if you meet some of these grown ass niggas who think they females. If you ask them what sex they are, they're not going to say they're actually male. They're going to say they're a female. They okay. want to identify. That's not necessarily true. You ask, I know, tra I, I think I, like, if I was to ask Toph Taj, which is like a trans conservative I know because there's trans people all over the political spectrum, even though they're mostly left wing, they're going to say that their sex, their sex is male, but their, uh, their gender identity is a woman. And that they have gotten, you know, surgery to get boobs and other stuff like that, you know, in order to try to be and look and present and do everything they can to be socially accepted in society as a woman. You see Toftaj walking down the street, they look like a woman and will be treated by society in every way as a woman. And that will presumably do no harm to society. In fact, it would feel like going out of my way if I look at somebody like Toftaj and say, oh, man, man, that, that's actually a man. When, I, when everything about her looks like a woman, she acts like a woman, she wants to be a woman. If anything, I feel like I'd be going out of my way to say that they're not socially a woman. I mean, if we're all treating her as a woman and all of society's treating her as a woman, really, it's almost out of our hands if she's socially a woman or not. Because if she's treated as a woman, if she acts like a woman... If she believes she's a woman and is behaving in society like one and people treat her like that, then societally, she basically is a woman. I mean, she's how how couldn't you say that societally that is how she is she's acting? That is the role that she is fulfilling. I, I feel like I have to go out of my way. By on all the four act on all the no on all the government forms on all the government forms you filled out does it not say sex m slash f for my government forms so yo respect for my government form yo we're talking about like I completely get your argument and you're right. right but the people we're talking about they want to be able to pick not only gender but sex they're she I don't know dude I'm let me just put this out here there might be some people who want to do that. But that's not the conversation that he's having in this room right now. He's now talking to people who are not in the room. Most people, like, this is the thing. If you walk up to somebody who identifies as a woman and you ask them, do you have a dick? Or are you sexually a man? What's your sex? I think for most of them, it's going to be a very uncomfortable topic. Because what you're doing is you're taking the biological reality of somebody's birth and you're conf taking that and jamming it against... Their social reality, what they identify as, their, their what their dysmor dysmorphia pushes them to. It, you're making these things clash, and it's private information. So I think that for most people, it would make them uncomfortable. Maybe they would react negatively to it, but many of them would still answer that I'm sexually my sex is male, but I am a, I am uh, my I'm societally I'm a woman. My identity is a woman. My gender is a woman. That's not, that's not, that doesn't seem right. Yeah. Mm. Oh, 
Have you met someone that is a le- like, like? I gotta be clear because I know I'm on still on Twitch. A trans. I don't think I've ever met a trans person, like a trans woman, who told me my gender is female and my sex is female. Everything's female. I like I'm just a female. There's no. There's literally zero difference between me and someone who's born biologically female. Because there is differences. There's biological differences. There's hardwired differences. There is differences. But that doesn't mean they couldn't be a type of woman or be considered by society a type of woman. And if you, you do you think they identify Bro. like, oh, I'm actually a male, sex wise, but I consider myself as a woman. They don't. They call themselves. <laughs> why, why would anybody go into that level of detail? Like if somebody asks, are you a man or a woman? For most people, what's in between their legs, unless DJ Academics is, you know. I mean, if he's chasing, that's his business. It's not my business. But if if you're not getting between their legs to, you know, uh, to, to get in, in girl sausage town, then that stuff's not going to matter for most people. For, for everybody watching my stream, what's in between my legs does not matter. For all that matters, I guess, when it comes to me is that I'm, I socialize I'm a man. What's in between my legs doesn't matter because for the vast majority of people, they're not going to interact with that. There's not going to be a moment where people are randomly like, oh, am I going to have kids with Dylan? Yeah. That's something that's way private, way down the line. So for the vast majority of people, this is just not something that comes up. So for all intents and purposes, you ask them, they're going to say woman. Why would they say, well, I'm a gender, I'm a woman, but in between my legs, there's a penis. And so actually my sex is that there's no need to go into that unless they're like, I don't know, they're hitting on you, really. A woman and a female. That's a fact. Why, why are y'all acting yes. like... They still but consider themselves a male. They still no, DJ PP inspector. <laughs> they still mean the gender though, like, and if they don't, they're wrong. But that doesn't, that doesn't. Why do you feel so, so uh, enraged and and compelled to to write them? That's the government's fucking thing to do that. If they <laughs> if they misrepresent wait, 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 wait. if they misrepresent themselves oh, on a government oh, form, they're now wrong. That's fucking illegal. Hold on, hold on, if they say sex on, and they they, they misrepresent themselves, that's actually oh. wrong. Why do you feel like if they go, no, you are this, you are that. No, yo, no, yo, yo, see, chill the fuck out, bitch ass. Chill out. To correct them. <laughs> what, I don't feel dude, compelled to correct them. They're so heated. So heated. Correct them. I'm just showing the fallacy in what you just tried to explain. Not a fallacy. And what fallacy? I <laughs> fallacy doesn't mean just error, by the way. You don't know. Well, maybe not you, but the train wreck said, well, you know what? You guys are right. Sex, there's only two sexes, but you could have multiple genders because that's a social construct. I'm telling you that usually if someone, and by the way, I'm not even passionate about this truth. Right. Be told. Right, but, right, but, right, like, right. but usually if someone, say someone was born, right, a female, they was born with a pussy, right? If they want to now identify as a man, they're not going to then tell people, I am a female by sex, but I am a man by gender. But this is not, this is not your business. That's why. Because they're, no. because they're acting in a social way with other social beings. I mean, like, XQ, like, SQC is on point here. I mean, he's right. Like, I think he could be making the arguments better, but he's right. Like, why, what social interaction when you're meeting somebody would you need to know what's between their legs? Strange Pains 25 has donated $5. Watch Aiden Ross's head explode when he discovers boys used to wear pink and girls used to wear blue. <laughs> Hey, that's dangerous information. That's deep state nonsense. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. That's liberal tomfoolery. Cuckoldry. Get that out of here. Things using a social right. construct to fucking communicate. They're using yeah. a social construct to communicate. Not some biological fucking markers. Holy shit. How hard is it to understand it? Damn. Uh, I can't believe I'm saying this, but that's like, that's an XQCW, man. Like, he took the W there. I mean, he could have done better, but the other dude just kept repeating the same point over and over. Like, they never say, hey, my name is Lucy, I'm a trans woman, and I've got a mash of schlong. Like, of course, well, yeah, of course they don't, because it doesn't come up. Maybe they're just not attracted to you. That's why they're not bringing up their massive schlong. 